Get your major main maters out of here. They're too polluting. Also, they have a fat bottom. Hey, guys, name's Vim Bling. Some crookable of oh man. Attempting to press a key. Apparently succeeding. Last time, I left all of the cavalry in that place over there. This time, I'm going to walk right into a guy's face and not even have to care. Because... I am a god. Yes, that's right. I am now admitting that I am great and powerful. And, you know, you may not like it, but I'm great and powerful. I I'm here, and, and I'm great. Let's try this again. I told you I was great, and I'm not about to lose my title now. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Nice patch on your robe. <laughs> you can tell that you are a cheap noble. You are the Porsche 944 of nobles. I happen to like that design, or was it the 9 something else? I don't know. I happen to like a Porsche design. It's shocking. I know. Okay, so yeah, this is the place. The old mill. Oh, it's not even a mill. It's a tavern. Of course. So there's that door that I stepped into and then got seen. Yeah, but okay. Let's, let's not go into doors in the bright sunlight. Also, I got seen over here too. Oh, that dude. He walks right on through. <laughs> He's not a car. Okay, he does not appear to have walked on through yet. I guess he got uh, crushed in the junkyard that is the old mill. That's right, it's just a front for a junkyard. Awful, I know. Okay. Oh, my objective is complete. Okay. Uh, I don't remember which one that is, and, I, and I'm in a very bad position right now. Oh, perhaps not. Okay, uh, let's see. Last of us thugs, if we can see around the old mill, find a discreet way inside, aka the front door, and these amateurs must have a stash somewhere and clean anything else. Is that the new objective? Possibly? I'm just gonna say that there is. Th th that is, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to lie low here, so obviously I'm very extremely nervous about such an idea. It's, a, it's an interesting and creative idea, but it may not be good for my pleth. Oh, wait a minute. Two keys, not one, but two. Two keys, so tell me true. What do the keys do? Outside doors and a cash box. I'll take them both in a side order of fries. Cause I just struck oil and have no qualms about getting rich and fat off of it. You know, by asking it for infinite wishes. That's why, that's what separates oil from the real genies is that oil has not yet learned to not grant infinite wishes and other such quid pro quers hey this is thief 4 no it wants to be thief 4 but it doesn't quite close the deal so yeah i thought that people were just shocked there oh my god so repetitive so am i allowed to go into this section or what like Am I just supposed to lie low? Hello. I'm part of- I I see see that. That. Right. Right, so I'm guessing that there's- Dude, she's just like, hello, 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 hello. Guessing there's nothing for me over in this section, but- You never know. I mean, there's that door. Can't put out those lights. I've got work to do. Yeah. So I could maybe get behind there. Okay, scouting. Oh. Oh, this is like the freaking back door. Oh, okay. Right. Well, not messing around here then. Am I? Oh, yeah. All you gotta do is go over here. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello. 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 <laughs> Jeez. Some of this stuff ends up being a little silly sounding. But oh, yeah. The outside door is key, and I can even go like that. Probably shouldn't, though. No entry. Well, I know where that leads, but I guess I'm going to go into the basement. Stashes are normally found in basements and crypts and tombs and japes and jests of all kinds. Whoa, shit. Shoot. A jape and a jest is not really a place. Neither of them are. But anything's possible when you're on the highways of Deja Lee. Okay. So pro that I'm even gonna leave him be and let him go. Just gonna have to remember that he goes into the no entry place flagrantly disobeying the sign. Flagrantly disobeying the sign. Okay, he doesn't even close the door behind him. Uh oh. I think I should be a little more careful in my wanderings and my musings. 
perhaps in my drinkings that looks almost sort of valuable but it's just sort of coppery colored not valuable enough sir value is not to aesthetic taste gold is gold and nothing else is nothing else there's the basement journal and here comes another guy all together <sighs> what a ripoff not gonna read this because you know you never know where I'm safe probably safe up here I would wager but maybe I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't wager I don't know Okay, fine, I'll read it. Old Dabby was stumbling about the old mill last eve, as usual, and bumped into a coat rack. It made such a racket. It was strange, because I'm sure he's bounced off that one at least a few times before. I also noticed a sound coming from a nearby closet. It was like he hit the spine of the building. I was gonna let one of the servants know, but I saw some guard get real angry about Dabby about this one, so I thought I would keep it to myself for now. I've never seen them get so worked up about Dabby before. Okay, I get it. There's a secret switch in the coat hanger. Understood, Captain! That was the cute pony salute. The cute salute. Doomed to have everything they do be cute. Even that one face DT made. Oh, what the terrible life. Okay, this is some unfortunate synchronization. Proxomably. <laughs> I love that made up word. It is my pet. Made upward, and eventually you'll be able to lift things without clanging like that, but for some reason that cobweb just lit up. Let's not ask too many questions, or any as the case may be. Well, okay. Oh, that's a different, yeah, that's a different voice. That's like some exotic voice that I never heard. But, okay, a coat rack. Did it say where it was? Probably. Oh. Oh. That'll make a nice little bonus. <laughs> Man, who would find such a thing? Obviously me. Hey, come on. It's a Valkyrie. And it popped up with my journal. I guess... Okay, I guess it's loot? Or something? I don't know, my objective didn't take off, so who knows. Okay. Coat. Rack. Bumped into a coat. Okay. So, I guess it's around somewhere. I don't know. Just have to keep an eye out for... Oh, jeez. For a coat. Rack. Hmm. Okay, I guess this is where I first came in. Yeah. Probably just gonna light that again. But I mean, God, you can't light a candle forever. You know, it's gonna have to go out sometime. Also, there's a cash box around here. Oh, there's another Bis Portal bug. I, what? I saw what it was. Screen flickered there. I can't get it to happen again this time. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, those guys. Endlessly amusing. Yes, yes, yes. Harmonizing their yeses even. <laughs> anyway, okay. Coat rags. So, this is this floor. There's also another floor, probably. Well, coat racks might be in that kind of place. Okay, is this a coat rack? I don't know, but it said there's a nearby closet. I don't see any closets around. Oh. I, I still don't see any closets around, is the thing, though. Unless, of course, by closet you mean this. Yeah. Unless, of course, you mean this. Oh, you do? Oh, shit. <laughs> of course I would say, oh, shit. And there's many a choice to be found. This ladder doesn't seem that noisy. Must be coated with that new stand tall tech builder material. Well, it's not gonna be any of these, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love secrets, especially when they're huge. I, I've heard that that huge word on the TTLG forum. Is somebody getting it from me, or am I getting it from Donald Trump? I don't know. One thing I do know is that humankind is on the brink of an English lesson. But this, that was just a passage up here. So, that wasn't even really necessary. It was just like a shortcut to avoid the sniffing pigs. Sir, are you a sniffing pig? Because I definitely hear some sniffings. Or maybe it was the carpet. No, it was... Shit. It was the sniffings. Also, though, that ladder also led me down, though. Which I completely and utterly forgot. So I guess I'll just go and go down. That's got to be more secret. 
than this. Surely. I mean, I've already been down here, so this must be a place I haven't been. Or, or this is the speakeasy. Or something. <laughs> it's the gamble easy. Room. Room. You gotta say room if you wish to impress me with your English skills. What made that sound? Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, finished cutting, 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 cutting your hair, sir. Oh boy. You want me to snag the coins from what the tape? Pull in the bright sunlight again. Ah, yeah, right. Hmm. You can't even get. Look at this shit. You can't, seriously. Kinda can't. I mean, I could try. Hmm. That didn't I even see. work. Yeah, I'll admit I kinda don't get it when they do that, because. I don't know. Maybe I'm leaning wrong. Oh, oh. Oh, you're supposed to get the, to get up first. I don't know. I mean, if I do this, <laughs> then I will succeed. I can't believe it. This used to be so hard in the dark mod. Either I'm getting better, or they made it easier for foolish wimps such as I. But uh, yeah, seriously, my arms don't extend seven miles like Garrett's do. So. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do it the lame way, which I just did. So, uh, demonstration fantastique, and let's move on. This has got to be important. It's got to be the stash room, or the cash room. Cash is stash, and stash is cash, and anyone else is Dr. Seuss. Quentin, the boss wants to see me tonight, and judging by the tone of the letter, I'm almost sure a raise is out of the picture. You're in charge of everything in my absence. If you need me, you'll find Alwa, one of her guards, near the wall. They wear expensive gear, so you'll recognize him. Remember that we're still looking for the lowlife who stole from Freit. Jehan and Basil got a good beating for failing to do their job, and are still in the streets looking for the guy with no pay. So do your job correctly, Leonard. Ah, an invitation. Time to pay Aladric Mansion an evening visit. An invitation? I see no invitation. What are you even talking about? After you fit people, oh, what? Where is the new? Locate Lazarova's residence, believed to be Aladric Manor, and find a way inside. Did I did I hear about her residence from this letter? Blah blah blah. Near the wall. You didn't say nothing about Aladric Manor. Seriously, I, I just don't know what I even did. Well, there's tons of places in town, but apparently you can't get to some of them. Like. Uh, some of them. And I gotta see if I can't get to Freud's Manor via the streets over there. Okay, but stash, 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 stash. Must have a stash somewhere. Clean the place out. Well, stash does imply a sort of centralized money pit hole. So, uh, yeah, it's a quiet ladder for some reason. Out of the speakeasy and into the rain again. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh shit, this is amazing. <laughs> what a way to move. I like it. Right, right. So the bridge where I got caught ought to be somewhere around here. I can't... Okay, it's over there. But before I leave, I'm going to look around this top floor some more after placing this in a more convenient locale. I hear you there. Please make yourself known. Thank you for playing my game. The game where you make yourself known. You win. Oh, well, that's right. You, you did not. You did not see me. I think I could get you. Ah, I'm going to get you. I should probably start knocking some heads against the pavement, as it were. I say as it were, cause that's a metaphor. Cause there's no pavement in here. You see how 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 it works? Good, excellent. Great, excellent. <laughs> Texagrate. Texas is large. Right, but there's another ladder up to the rafters one would presume. Kind of strange. It's a noisy one. Also strange. Well, it's okay. I guess I can't get to the roof that way. But maybe I could get out this way. No, it's a tiny little hole fit only for pigeons and mice and pigeon mice. Either or all of those would be good. I wonder... I, oh, this is to travel. I see. And there's not even a reward for figuring it out. You just travel along and don't get seen. You have to check out those two rooms at some point. There's not even a purse. Like, why would there realistically be one? I don't know. I don't care about realism, seriously. Oh, but there's this thing up here. It's a strange 
What a strange place. I can't put out the light. Doors everywhere. That's what exists. And there is some money on the counter. Oh, there is some money on the counter in the bar, too. I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait till that woman leaves and go in through the back way. Gotcha. I'll probably remember. Whoops. Uh, I love short locks. Short locking patrols. A jewelry box key. I haven't even found the cash box, let alone a jewelry box, which is like level two of a cash box. You know, I'm skipping right ahead and power grinding. So, I aim here to get the key. That's that's the fact. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. I see. It all makes sense. Now, just to make you do a little more work for your money. And I don't mind doing that. After all, it's fun to work for your money. If you like your work and your money. The castle in the woods. Once upon a time, there lived a farmer boy who toiled away at his parents' farm for endless hours. Every day, he would set aside a little time to dig deep into the soil to look for fancy stones or anything strange below the surface. The parents would become cross with him and became grumpier every harvest as the fields slowly stopped being bountiful. We need to fill new lands, father, the boy exclaimed as he was sent to begin another season's planting. Nonsense! Er, till new lands. Nonsense! These lands are fine! You just want to spend more time searching the soils for your collections, his father rebuked. The boy somberly began dragging his plow once more and stopped suddenly when he heard a clang of metal. He looked down to see a key with an ornate heart design on top. He ran into the house with the key as fast as he could. Father, I have found a key! What could this mean? Do you think it might unlock some treasure somewhere? The father examined the key closely and turned pale as a ghost. It's cursed, he gasped. This is the key of an old wizard who lived in a castle in the woods. You must... Thank you, audio click. You must return it to its owner at once. Old wizard? The boy smirked. Did his father truly believe in such fairy tales? He wanders the woods at night. He's gathering materials to forge some magic object. He brews potions at the topmost tower of the castle like some old witch of yore. Smile all you want when you fall ill or are shrieking with madness or are pursued by the undead. I will be there to let you know how foolish it is to trifle with an old wizard. Into the darkest path the boy began his journey. He could see a dark hill rising from the trees and a faint silhouette of a castle tower poking up from behind a rocky crag. And that's all the freaking end, I guess. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So that's that, but what about... What? Oh, oh, I see. So, so, what? No, what, dude? So this is this book, but what about, what about the book underneath it? Oh, it's like you highlight them both. I, I, okay, whatever. I wanted to read the end of the story, but I guess that's not. I'm oh, sorry. I guess that's not happening. Too, uh, too eager to cut. I thought my cut key was my quick save key. What a horrid thing to think. Or I'm just in love with the cut key. That, that could happen. I hear you there. Step, step, step forever. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. Sometimes you just don't know. Help! Help! <laughs> I know that's not my skill. I know they made blackjack and easier at some point along the line. So yeah, I I don't think I actually got any better, but that's okay. Still feels good. Maybe the cash box is underneath the bar counter. That would make sense. So yeah. That's two things I gotta remember down there. Alright. But first, the fanciful rooms where the lords and ladies sleep and bicker and quarrel because that's more entertaining than them not. That's just one of the strangeties of the fiction world. Leonard, while I appreciate both your company and the hard work you do for me, failing to capture the interloper who dared to steal from Frit greatly bothers me. Gossip spreads like the plague in this city. If thieves and other thugs learn that one of my people got robbed, you can be assured they will flock to Lang Miller with the prospect of plundering the people under my protection since it's now considered fair game. Tell your underlings to find him as soon as possible and bring me his head. Anyway, I need to talk to you in private. Letters can be intercepted, and I know Under Commissioner Valentis is quite twitchy these days. So this is why I'm asking you to come to my home tonight. Take a bath and dress properly so you don't arouse suspicion, and come as soon as possible. L. 
I think that sounds pretty suspicious. Oh, and here's the good old switch that we all know and love. <laughs> it's kind of got to be something in there if you use a switch. You got to have something or else it just wouldn't make no nothing sense. Dashing tales of the brave Night Watch. Sir Ballantyne stood fast against the wind. He gazed upon the western wall for signs of shadows and movement. A cold gust rushed across his face. I could use an ale right now, he muttered to himself as he braced for a second gale. Not an ale. He was quite tense. The other night he observed the bustle of loose crates fall about at the edge of a warehouse. It didn't look like the work of beasts, so it must have been someone outside in a restricted area past curfew. Ah, bollocks. Not again. He remembered that he had left his favorite playing cards at home and would now be playing against Branning Gone, who doubtlessly would have have a cheater's deck. Slowly, a dark creeping feeling tingled the base of his spine. He could feel a fog of darkness encroaching behind him and noticed that the street seemed dimmer as if torches were doused before him. He turned to take a peek, but no signs of trouble greeted him, so he ventured out into the yard to recheck the doors to the warehouse. A few rats scurried down the street and he scowled at them, then huffed in disapproval as he made his way back to his post. Again, a creepy feeling arose from behind him, and he felt almost compelled to lean to his tiptoes to avoid its progress. A few creaking sound raised his stress to almost boiling, but muttered some assurances to himself. Must have been some bloody rats, trying to hide his increasing apprehension. Finally, it was too much to bear. He whipped around to look, but again found nothing. He sighed a brief sigh of relief and hunched his shoulders. Thud! As he fell to the ground and went limp, a rogue gazed upon his victim with a gleam in his eye. Where shall I place this poor taffer? He gleefully bemused to himself. He gleefully bemused to himself. I think bemused is not a that kind of word. His dark hood nearly hid the small trace of a smile below its shadow. He lifted Sir Ballantyne and began to walk down past the warehouse. Well, dear reader, how shall he escape this peril? What will the rogue do to him? Meanwhile, in Sir Oswald's manor, the feast was about to begin. The long table had carefully been laid out by the staff for the cordial company. Lady Oswald was getting her finest dress altered to show off at the dinner party, and had been scowling at the servants with all day with... had been scowling at the servants with all day with various stern orders. Okay. Yes, these books are like the devil books. Also the devil's books. Keys are found right where they're needed. All right, well, here's another way out. Hmm. Well, I kind of want to leave it here, but I'll check this last room first. Hopefully there's no other big, long books in here, because as amusing as those are, I find myself unable to read for very long these days without the... stuff. Oh, I don't know, whatever. Okay, one more. Sir Ranscom sure was being quite rowdy last evening. He was celebrating some book sale he made. It took me three years to track down that book, he kept howling over and over again. He bought round after round for the whole place and kept saying, Compliments on the good lady. Bert kept telling Sir Ranscom to hush like he was spilling some secret. There's only one lady in these parts who would be able to pay for a fortune for an old book. My friend who works in her manor says she's been crazy about astrology lately. I'll bet she's reading that old book next to her fancy telescope. That, you might mean astronomy? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a nice life, resting in a parlor, reading old stories and stargazing all night. She probably has some guard turn the pages for her. Lots of strange stuff going on in that manor, though. Nobles. Blah. 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 Nobles. Blah. Pair of sprite noises. Yeah. All right, well, that's that room, and here is a balcony. We don't want to be seen there at all, so see you guys next time, and bye for now.